do you believe, do you believe, believe you think, Congresswoman, do you believe that there are more Republicans who support this push? And ultimately, if this does get filed, it could lead to exactly what you're saying, more chaos, more paralysis. Does the House Republican uh, Conference want to move forward with that? The, it's filed, but it, it's not voted on. It only gets voted on until I call it to the floor wait, for a vote. Wait, so, and, wait a minute. Jeffrey, Jeffrey has said he would help, potentially, or not he would help, but the Democrats might be willing to help him survive if there was a motion to vacate him. Are you worried about putting Johnson in a position where he would actually no. hold him to Democrats? I'm not worried survive? about that at all. I'm what not the, worried about that at all. I don't, think, I don't think that the American people, Republican voters across the country, want to see a Republican speaker that's held in place by Democrats. You're not um, this, is, this is not exactly what people want. So what, do you need, what, do you, what do you need to see? This will be up to our conference. Our conference works together to choose a speaker, and we need a speaker that supports all of us, not a speaker that breaks the 72-hour rule, will not let us uh, vote on amendments or introduce amendments to major funding bills. This Right now, do you know one another video that everyone is watching today? It's the illegals rushing our border military-aged men running over Border Patrol, running over the Texas National Guard. And, and Mike Johnson, the Republican Speaker of the House, handed over every ounce of negotiating power to Chuck Schumer and the Democrats and went ahead and funded the government. When this was our point of leverage, Republicans had the power of the purse. This was our power. This was our leverage. This is our chance to secure the border. And he didn't do it. And now this funding bill passed without the majority of the majority. This was a Democrat bill. This is a Chuck Schumer bill. This is a bill that Joe Biden cannot wait to sign into law, and it is a betrayal of the American people. Here's the problem. Right now, Americans are watching the border. Americans, women are being raped. Women are being killed. Uh, illegals are squatting in people's homes and then killing them when they come to take their houses back. Like, just that's just what happened in New York. We're done. We're absolutely what, what, done. What, what, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need to hear? What do you need? What do you need to hear? What do you need to hear from the speaker or anything else to not move forward? What will change your mind to not move? He heard from everyone all week long. Do not break the 72-hour rule. He heard from all of us. He heard from all of us all week long. Allow us to introduce amendments. Allow us to do our jobs. Allow us to represent the districts that voted for us and sent us here. We want a secure border. And the, and the Senate proposal of legalizing 5,000 people coming across the border every day is not securing the border. And this is giving up every point of leverage we have. Also, forcing Republicans to vote on full-term abortion funding in order to fund our military is a complete betrayal of all of our values, and our voters don't want us to be doing that.